And we begin with that breaking news. Chopper 2 was over the scene of the mass shooting in the South Chicago neighborhood. If you look closely, you can see dozens of evidence markers. Seven people were shot. The shooting happened at 79th and Exchange just after 3.30 this afternoon. The intersection includes a liquor store and Little Caesars Pizza, among other businesses. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is outside the University of Chicago Medical Center, where four of those seven victims are now fighting for their lives. Sabrina, you spoke with one of the victim's families. Dana, minutes felt like hours here outside the University of Chicago Medical Center as those families waited for answers for more information about their loved ones conditions. Some of them cried in the streets, others packed in cars filled with family members again looking for those updates, those answers in one of those cars. We met the brother of one of the victims. I'm not going to be fully out of it until I know that until I literally hear my brother's voice and he tell me himself that he's OK. Derek Swift had just dropped off his younger brother at the store. Oh, we're getting 20 rounds at 7916 South Exchange. It's like it's coming from the parking lot. I really think that it was my fault because I could have kept him in the car with me instead of dropping him off at the house. At 3.20 p.m., up to 60 rounds, Derek heard about the shooting and turned around. I jumped in the car and went up there. Seen a couple of people laying on the ground, didn't see my brother. Police say at least one person pulled up in a car outside the Little Caesars on South Exchange Avenue and East 79th Street, talked to a group of seven men standing there, then fired. They looked up and my little brother was hitting his chest. Police Superintendent Brown. Whether it was a targeted shooting or an altercation, it's unacceptable. And we're going to be, put all of our efforts forward to solve the shooting and bring those to justice that were involved. All seven rushed to area hospitals, two critical, five stable. Only thing I can do now is leave it up to the man upstairs. Derek's brother is in surgery. He's expected to be okay, so his older brother can tell him this. Just tell my brother I love him. Dana, there was video of this attack and police are still sorting through it. Meanwhile, detectives we saw were walking in and out of the hospital behind me, speaking with victims as soon as they were able and families. They wait. Outside the University of Chicago Medical Center, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you. And we're staying on top of this breaking story on our app, CBS Chicago. You can download it wherever you get your apps.